Welcome to your Cancer Yoga Flow, yoga for cancer signs. The Cancerian energy is all about activating and awakening our emotional body and honoring our emotions as our superpowers. Coming to the top of your mat, bringing your feet together, closing down the eyes or just softening the gaze as you inhale and releasing gently into this present moment as you exhale. And as you breathe here, creating that ujjayi breath, bringing in the sound of the ocean. Cancer is the first water sign embodied in the sign of the cautious crab that is hard on the outside, tender, soft on the inside. Cancer is our first water sign. It is a cardinal energy, an initiating energy beginning summer. And as you breathe here, bringing in the sound of the ocean to connect with the water element, expanding through the low belly, inhaling, and contracting, hugging the navel in, exhaling. And as you allow the low belly to be the engine of the breath, filling up the lungs, gently, ever so slightly constrict the back of the throat to create the sound of the ocean. And as you meditate on this sound, feeling the flow of our practice today. Let's get started. Rooting down through all four corners of the feet, connecting to the earth energy, inhaling, fluidly flowing, rising up, opening the heart and feeling all the sensations available to you as you exhale down. Gently lifting and lengthening, uh, hugging the navel in, exhaling, separating all 10 fingers, shoulders over wrists, step back, activating the calves here. And let's just go knees, chest, chin to the floor and then glide forward to a low cobra and releasing down, bringing the third eye to the floor, stabilizing the thoughts, exhaling and inhaling. We're gonna come into a Shalabhasana, bringing the arms back, palms on the ground, arms, uh, hands are by the hips now. And I'm gonna inhale, lifting up, anchoring through the pubic bone, getting really leveraged here so I can roll my shoulders back, the gaze is long in front of me, and my feet are reaching back with my wings. And exhaling down, let's bring, come back into our Shalabhasana. Inhaling up, staying for three breaths here, pressing down through the pubic bone so I can get even taller. And coming back, rolling into our child's pose here. Cancer is the sign of the mother, ruled by the moon, this nurturing, mother, mothering energy. Emotionally intuitive, caring for others. And just breathing here, opening the hips. So much of our emotion is stored somatically in the hips, so as you open the hips here, just setting an intention, inviting an opening in your emotional world, knowing you're in a safe and sacred space. Cancer rules over our home life, our domestic life. So just knowing as you're probably practicing at home, how safe you are to really open up and access your vast emotional terrain, the full spectrum of your human experience, and the deep ocean of emotions you have within you. And then we're gonna come a little bit, bringing the knees in, and we're gonna roll through like a tabletop, kind of as if I'm in a cat pose, and then I'm gonna drop the hips and open the heart, rolling the shoulders back, lifting the head last, then tucking the chin, pressing through my hands to concave around the spine, hugging the navel in, dropping the crown towards the floor, and then rolling back here. This is a nice side body stretch as well. And just as you roll here with every inhale, coming forward, dropping the hips, imagining the oceans, ocean and the waves of the sea listening to the sound of the breath and thinking how fluid, temporal or ephemeral each wave is, impermanent like our emotions flowing through us. Just 
just a few more spinal rolls here, dropping the hips down, rolling up the spine, chin comes up last, tucking the chin, pressing through the hands, concaving, rounding the spine, and then pressing back, beautiful. And then let's just sit up on our knees and take some spinal flexions. So inhaling forward, exhaling back, inhaling forward, exhaling, rounding back. So again, working to create a really supple spine so all of the energy can flow really nicely. Inhale forward, exhale back. So coming into a nice rhythm, your own, making it your own, and then slowly, if you feel inspired, building up the speed. And I'm going to begin The chin stays really parallel to the floor and the navel hugs in or comes in. Inhale forward, exhale back. Come creating a supple spine. Beautiful. And then coming to a seat here, maybe an easy pose or a half lotus or just cross-legged. You can sit up on a block or you could do this on a chair if you wanted. And I'm gonna bring my fingertips to my shoulders and I'm gonna inhale left and exhale right, rotating from my navel or maybe my sternum. Getting really tall, lifting up and out of my pelvic bowl, lifting up and out of even my rib cage just to create more space here. And let's begin. Chin stays parallel to the earth. You might notice some popping, which is great, releasing vata, air and the wind in the joints. Just taking it nice and slow, going at your own pace, and then maybe building up the speed and the depth of your breath. Few more rounds here. Beautiful. Then coming to a seat in the middle, coming to center, closing down the eyes, drawing all that energy we just stirred up inwards towards the center of your being, maybe even getting a little bit taller here. Beautiful. And let's open up for some nice hip opening here into a nice juicy wide-legged forward fold. If you want to grab a block, you're more than welcome here. You don't need to come into your full extension. Let's take this as more of a yin restorative pose. I find for Cancerian energy, we really need this restorative time to really fill our cups and tap into the yin essence, that beautiful quiet space that restorative yoga or yin yoga can offer us. So we're just gonna bow forward. You might like to sit on a bolster or a pillow to prop the hips or roll the hips, tilt them slightly forward. But just taking a moment here to rest and open the hips even more, releasing any stagnant emotions, surrendering into the present moment, intending or noticing with every breath if you can deepen your awareness of your emotional world. Just taking a few moments here to connect to yourself. When we can hold a pose for a minute or longer, we can release hyaluronic acid in the joints, that youthful acid that's so hydrating. <laughs> and move the gelisol from a cold butter texture to a warm butter texture. And even bypass the muscle to access the vasha, the connective tissue, hydrating the connective tissue after the long hold of the stretch Hydration floods into the fascia, the connective tissue. And bypassing the muscle, we can then access and drop into creating true 
exchange, removing scar tissue. That can't be achieved unless we're in a longer, deeper hold. We won't hold too long here, but I encourage you to practice more yin yoga, supporting yourself to close the knees here. And we're going to take a reclined pigeon, or if you want to take pigeon on the front, you can bring the knee out in front of you for a more active experience. So that would look like either the knee, um, the foot being more by the hip, or it could be parallel to really increase the stretch. You might need some props or pillows or blankets to support you here. And then if you're going to take pigeon on your back, rolling down, bringing the ankles over your hips, pointing and flexing the feet, rolling out the ankles, and then bending, opening, externally rotating the right hip and bringing the knee towards the wall, opening here. Crossing the left ankle over the left quadricep here, and then it can just drop the, the, the shin, <laughs> the calf, down, the lower leg down and then just bringing the left knee towards you to increase the stretch, threading the needle with your arms here, and then clasping at the back of the hamstring or the shin, shin for a deeper stretch. And taking a moment here to open through the glute, targeting the glute here. You might feel it as well in the hamstring, but see if you can get it more into the glute space. And resting here taking this restorative time, Cancer, you're such a lover, you give so much, you're always there for others, and now we're just going to rest and open up your hips, releasing emotional energies you might have absorbed from others as an empath, whatever energies pierced through your shield, Cancer has hard on the outside, outside so can set boundaries can be grouchy, moody, ruled by the moon. The moon changes sign every two and a half days. So Cancer can be seen as moody because we're so influenced by the moon, which is always changing signs. And releasing, if you're on in a more active version of this pose, coming through maybe a down dog and then coming into your second side. And if you are in a restorative version of your pigeon, and bringing the shoulder, the ankles over the hips and pointing and flexing the toes, rolling out the ankles, why not? And then again, making that figure four, externally rotating the left hip, bringing the left knee out and threading the needle, clasping the hands on the back of the hamstring, the back of the leg, or maybe the shin, if you want a deeper experience. And see if you can access with your stretch the left glute. And resting here. Connecting to your breath, listening to the rhythm of the breath, and staying in flow. I think Cancerian energy really thrives when it doesn't overthink, and rather it lives in a flow state, flowing through life, staying fluid and trusting your powerful intuition. And also Cancerians can be great judges of character. So also protecting yourself with that hard shell as needed. And you're sensing a threat like a crab darting away. Cancerian energy can approach things very cautiously in life. Think of a crab scuttling sideways across the sands. It eventually will reach its destination, but it won't always take the most direct path as Aries would, Aries ruled by Mars, the warrior. Aries is the ram butting its head in, and it just does it, it goes head first, and Cancer approaches things sideways in a more sensitive manner, very cautious, and therefore is known as a money sign, can be, wants emotional security, being so sensitive, really wants that security, that money can offer, but also great judge of character. And although Mars is debilitated in Cancer in modern times, sometimes we do need to approach business sideways. Mars being the planet of business. Yeah, Cancer is known as a money sign. And then we're just going to 
release into our final Shavasana here and letting the breath wash over you and imagining a warm wave of relaxation from the crown of your head to the tips of your toes. Melting into the floor. And planting a seed of intention in your heart space, bringing your intention, bringing your awareness to your heart. Setting a seed of intention, a sankalpa, for honoring that you will honor your emotional world, your power of feeling as your superpower, and see if, you'll, see if you can plant a seed of intention to really listen to your emotions and see what is my intuition trying to tell me through these feelings. What if I listened to my emotional clues and hints? What if I responded and acted on every intuitive hit that my emotions were conveying to me? What would my, how fluid and flowing would my life be? When you're ready, taking as much time as you possibly have here, and when you're ready, bending your knees, reaching overhead, rolling over to one side, cradling the ear on the bicep, and honoring this fetal position. Cancer is the mother, the divine feminine energy, the moon goddess, Seeing if you can rest in this fetal position, self-parenting, and giving yourself some motherly love, even imagining yourself in the womb, getting all of your needs met, being held in the womb of the Divine Mother. She's laughing, she's so healthy and happy and nourished. She's magnetic, and then pressing down to sit up in a beautiful final seated posture, bringing the hands to your heart center, softening the gaze or keeping the eyes closed. We're gonna inhale for Om, inhaling. Uh, Thank you so much for joining me, Cancerian family. I hope you've enjoyed this short yoga for cancer signs. If you love this, definitely subscribe to my channel and let me know what you loved about this practice in the comments. I'm sending you lots of love.